I'm gonna tell y'all a story time about when I met this goddamn girl at the club in El Paso, Texas. I think I told y'all this story before, bro. Look, I think I told y'all this story. I was in El Paso, Texas. I go out to the club. I didn't want to go out in the first place, bro. I did not want to go out in the first place. But niggas wanted me to come out, though. Like, the niggas that I'm cool with. What then happens is, like, one of my niggas, this is my nigga, I'm in El Paso, he's in the military. He's like, bro, you know what, bro? I'm going to pay for you to come. I'm like, bro, I'm not trying to spend your bread, bro. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. But these niggas kept forcing the issue. So I'm like, bro, fuck it. I'm going to go. So, Bob, we go to the club, and nigga, bro, and this night in the club, they was kind of in there, but, like, all the bad ones must have went to another spot. In El Paso, it, this, this place used to be called 301. I don't know what it's called now, but we in 301. It ain't too many bad ones like that in there. They cool, though. But uh, they start throwing ass. You, know, you already know how that booty meat down, down, booty meat. They throwing that shit. So me... I'm getting behind some shit, I'm not talking to too many people. I'm really not in the mood to go out, but it's cool though. But then it was this one white chick fucking with me heavy, nigga. She wanted me heavy. And the club is dark. I can't see Shorty that much. But I'm going to tell you right now, she had that ass on her. I'm like, damn. I'm like, hold on, that motherfucker. Hey, bro, we is she rolling nigga up? I'm like, damn, that motherfucker moving, bro. They say milkman. <laughs> so, wow, I'm like, man, I right, bet. Hey, appreciate you, appreciate you for it. So, then, appreciate you for the dance type shit. So, after that, she keep dancing on the nigga. Like, she keeps standing by me. Then, that's what she whispered in my ear. She was like, you look cute as fuck. I love your dimples. And I'm like, oh, shit, appreciate it. Thank you, appreciate you, appreciate you. I'm still not forced to try to get her number. But at this point, bro, you throwing the coochie on me so much. I'm like, so what you getting into after this? She was like, shit, I don't know. You tell me. So I'm like, I'm like, shit, what's up? Like, I was like, shit, I go to school at YouTube. You can come through to the dorm and kick it. And she was like, all right, bet, all right, bet. So she gave me her number. But at the end of the club, we don't end up linking. We don't end up linking. I go home and I start texting shorty type shit. And she was like, all right, I'm going to come through tomorrow. I'm going to come through tomorrow. For some reason, again, we didn't link. Oh, what happened was crazy. So I was like, you know what? And I'm about to hit her ass. So I was like, I was telling my roommate, roommate was like, Yo, what you got on? I was like, shit, I got that girl from the club coming. He was like, yeah, what time she come? I was like at eight. So I cleaned up my dorm room. I cleaned up my room and all that shit. Had my room looking, looking a little dorm, looking a little normal. I ain't gonna lie, my dorm room was dirty as shit. But when a girl coming, you gotta clean your room. Yo, D. Gary, thank you for the sub. When a girl coming, you got to clean your room. So, Bow, I, at this point, my room is clean. I'm waiting on her. But then I took a fucking nap, and my phone fell asleep under me. Right? And, nigga, I wake up. It's 10 o'clock. I'm like, yo, where the fuck is she at? Like, she's supposed to call me. Nigga, tell me why when I wake up, my phone, all of a sudden, all my alerts end up coming down. It's like... Bro, it's like my phone wouldn't get no fucking connection at all, bro. It's the weirdest shit ever. But as soon as I wake up, I get all the calls. She called me like four or five times. I say, bro, what the fuck? I'm sick. I'm like, damn, bro. So my roommate was like, I come out. My roommate, he chilling on the couch with his girl. He like, he like, damn, bro. Like, you supposed to have a girl come over? Like, don't tell me you was lying. You lying on your dick about some girls? I'm like, bro, why would I look like lying about a girl? But I was like, bro, she called me like four, five times. Look, my shit sold me. So boom, I'm like, at this point, I'm trying to find a way to make it up to her because she said she drove all the way over there. She drove like 40 minutes. First of all, driving 40 minutes without confirmation that I'm ready for you is crazy. But she did that. So I'm, I'm trying to make it up to her. It couldn't get no reception through yo extra media mass body. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. So, like, look, it's like this. I, I'm sitting there trying to, I'm sitting there trying to, like, make it up to him. Like, I'm like, bro, pull up, pull up type shit. Like, come back. Like, my bad, my phone fucked up. Yada, yada, yada. So she was like, uh-uh, I think you playing. Uh-uh, like, I, I know your type. Yada. I'm like, what the fuck is my type, bro? Like, what's up? So she was like, you know what? Bet, I'm going to come the next day. So she come the next day. And when the next day come, 
All of a sudden, I'm texting her. It's time. I'm not falling asleep because my phone not finna sell me. So boom, she hit me. I'm outside. I go outside. I'm like, where you at? She said, I'm getting out of my car right now. She kind of far. I see her get out of her car. And I'm like, oh, man. Who the fuck did I tell to come over? Oh, man. I seen shorty face and her shit was crazy tragic, bro. I'm like, oh man. Now I know this wasn't a bad one. I know this wasn't a bad one, but I can see kind of far. Nigga, she looked like Finley from the WWE, nigga. Oh man, hold on, bro. Bro. She get out of the car looking like these, bruh. <laughs> like these, bruh. Like, I obviously, I'm over exaggerating. She ain't look this crazy, but like, I'm like, oh man. So, so it's like this. What we didn't do is, what we do, I'm be honest, she did, you know, Finley kind of dragging it though. Finley kind of dragging it, but, bro, she was not it though. But I'm like, you know what? I go home in two weeks. I could really like low key drop her ass off. Like I, I really could like low key hit and just say fuck it and never talk to her again. Like, but whatever. We get in the room. I walk her up. I'm low key trying not to be seen with her. She one of them, bro. I'm walking. I'm walking through campus. I'm walking fast in the bitch. I'm opening the gate. <laughs> walking fast in the bitch. I'm walking like this. But then a nigga, nigga see me. I was about to say my government, bro, because niggas don't be calling me Trey type shit. But they was like, they was like, hey, wait, what, what, it is, what it is, Trey? I'm type shit. I ain't know. My nigga, I know you didn't have Sarah J Jr. pull up to the spot, bro, man. Hey, no cap. Sarah J is a good comparison, though. Because listen, while the face was tragic, that thing was thangin', though. I ain't gonna lie. So, Bow, we get to the room, bro. And I was hoping my roommate and his girl wouldn't know. I'm like, bro, please don't be sitting in this living room again, bro. They wouldn't. We get to the room, we get in the room, we chill. I put on TV. You know, niggas, we put on Netflix. We sitting in the bed just kicking it and cooling. Kicking it and cooling. Uh, I put my arm around the type shit. We just talking. And she put this, yo, matter of fact, I'm asking her what movie she want to watch. And she telling me, now nah, I don't want to watch this movie. That movie ain't going to be good. Oh, no, I watched that one. That one bad. Oh, no. Bro, she, she a real movie buff. And I'm just trying to put on anything. But she telling me not to put this on because that trash. I'm like, bro, in my head, we really not finna be watching this shit. Like, nigga, the movie finna be background noise. Like, you know what you pulled up for? We both grown, like, what's up, right? Boom, what then happens is, bro, we put this fucking movie on, bro, and we really in this whole dry watching the movie, bro. Like, we really, while we watch the movie, I'm like. <laughs> hey, I'm watching the movie, bro, the movie on. I'm really in this whole, like. You fucking with the movie. <laughs> Type shit. <laughs> oh, hey, bro. And the thing is, it's like this, bro. If we wasn't talking crazy in the text messages, and if you came over and told me that you want to watch a movie, I'm not expecting every time I watch a movie with a girl, I'm going to go crazy. Like, bro, if you wanted to watch a movie, you could have told me you just wanted to watch a movie. But you talking nasty in them texts. So that's why I'm like, okay. When you get here, we really not finna watch this movie. So bang. Um, so it's like this, bro. Oh, uh, so oh, we get to the end of the fucking movie for real. And I'm like, no, matter of fact, halfway through the movie, I'm telling my roommate, bro, help me get her out. I'm texting nigga, he not answering his fucking phone. So I told her, I was like, hey, I gotta go pee. I pee. I, I, I left out. I said, she said, you want me to pause? I said, no, 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 you can keep watching. You can keep watching. I'm not watching shit in the first place. 
When I go out, my roommate and his girl in the living room, I go to the front, I say, nigga, help me get her out, bro. Please, help me get her out this fucking room. He was like, wait. He was like, bro, I heard the movie on, y'all ain't doing nothing. I said, nigga, no. I say, bro, like, first of all, she catfished me. Second of all, please, bro. Bro, I, I was like, bro, just, just tell her in a minute, the RA coming and you got it. She, yo, I gotta clean out my dorm type shit, bro. Help me, bro. So my roommate, he said, all right, bro, bitch, in 20 minutes, in 20 minutes, I'm gonna help you get out. I go back in the room, 20 minutes go by. This nigga ain't knock on the door, no nothing, bro. I'm still sitting in this room with this girl, watching the movie like this. Like, bro, come on, bro. In my head, I'm like, bro, bro, please hurry the fuck up and get her out of here, bro. Like, I need you. So, anyways, boom, she say something. She was like, honestly, I'm really not watching the movie. And I'm like, oh, bitch, bitch, hold on, nigga. Like, now, now we finna to, now we finna do the shit that you told me you was about to get ready to do in them text messages. So, bow. So. So she say, I'm actually not watching this movie. In my head, I'm like, bro, finally, nigga, me neither. But I'm like, I'm like, word, I ain't gonna lie. I, I really ain't fucking with that hell neither. Like, like, the movie cool, but shit, I, I could have watched this on my own. Like, I'm trying I'm trying to kick it with you type shit. That's what I'm saying, whatever. So then she was like, she just started talking to me about random shit. So then that's when she started commenting on my lips. She was like, man, you got some nice ass lips, yada, yada, yada. But in my head, I'm like, they might be nice, but you cannot feel these hoes. I'm sorry, bro. Not you. You not you, bro. No. So I'm over here like, nah, bro, please, bro, please, bro. No, bro. You ate the cat. Stop lying. Nigga, oh, my mother. I did not eat that shit. So, wow. And then, so she just kept talking. And I was like, I started, I started feeling on her ass. And then, so she started moaning. I'm like. Damn, this is what get you going? All right, bet. <laughs> hey, I put both hands on the motherfuckers. Hey, both hands on it. Rub, hey, rubbing that shit, right? But then, so then it's like these. <laughs> hey, hey, so then, so then, boom, what happens is, I'm like, so shit, what you trying to do? You already know what time it is. You moaning and shit. I'm like, what you trying to do? She was like, she told me nothing. What do you mean nothing? What the fuck? And I say, damn, what you mean nothing? She was like, well, if you would have answered your phone yesterday and I came over here yesterday and today, then shit, I would have been doing all that. Cause please believe. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I can't remember what she said, but it was so fucking cringe. It was so fucking cringe because she's basically telling me like how fine I am. It was just fucking cringe though. That's, at this point, I, I realized she's fucking cringe too. But she was like, man, she was like, if I would have came over yesterday, I wouldn't have did nothing. But today I'm trying to control myself because mm, in my head, I'm like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Whatever the fuck she talking about, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yo, she kind of made my skin crawl the way she was like, mm. I said, bitch, move. <laughs> move, bitch. But anyway, I was like, damn, for real. But it was my phone, though. But at this point, I'm like, bro, whatever, bro. I'm, I'm really just trying to play it off. I'm sitting here still waiting on my room. I'm like, damn, bro, it's my phone, though, bro. I was, I was like, oh, you know what? It's cool. I ain't gonna. You ain't trying to do it. We chilling. What you want to continue watching the movie? She said, yeah. I said, all right, babe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go do something. So I get out of the room. My roommate sitting on the couch. Still. I said, nigga, what the fuck is you doing, nigga? Get me out, nigga. And he, he was like, oh, shit. My bad, bro, my bad, bro. I want to give you another chance. Get me the fuck out this room, nigga. When I tell you to help me, nigga, fucking help me, nigga. Don't, don't be rethinking this shit. So, so, Bob, I go back in the room. And I come back with snacks. I was like, shit. We gonna finish the movie. I had to, I brought us some snacks type shit. So we sitting to watch the movie for another 10 minutes. He knocked on the door. Hey, the RA said she finna get ready to do room check. So I don't know if we can have too many people up in here, bro. I was like, all right, baby, baby. I was like, hey, 
hey, we, we, we got we to get ready to get out. She was like, damn, all right, bet, all right, bet. Maybe we can finish it at another time. So I'm walking her outside. I'm walking outside again, trying not to be seen. But she walking in front of me. And listen, that ass was dumb as fat. I'm not finna lie. Us shit was fat. But she was trash. I ain't gonna count. So we get to her car. And at this point, I'm like, man, thank goodness, bro. Thank goodness. She finna get ready to go. Thank goodness. So I hug her and then she wanted to talk. So she was like, so what you about to get ready to do? I was like, well, shit, honestly, I really leave to Houston in like two days. So I'm packing up my room. Cause yeah, this was the end of the semester. So I'm like, so I'm packing up my room. I'm about to get ready to go. She was like, all right, bet. So you coming back to El Paso next next semester? I said, yeah, yeah. She said, all right, bet. Keep my number tapped in. Make sure you call me. I was like, yeah, I got you. She said, you ain't gonna call me. I said, why would I not call you like? You seen how it is? I'm trying to fuck with you. Like, come on now. Of course, I'm gonna call you. Of course, I'm never gonna call you, nigga. On oh, my mama, nigga. If I had that phone right now, nigga, I'll tell you, I never called her ass again, nigga. But I was like, yeah, I'm gonna call you. I got you. I got you. Type shit. So, boom, what happens is a car end up pulling up. It's niggas I know. It's niggas I know. Niggas I know pulled up right next to us. It was like, Oh, damn, my bad, y'all, my bad. Because the nigga, his, he, like, when he got out the car, his door kind of, like, almost hit me a little bit. He was like, my bad, bro. And I was like, and then, so I told him, I was like, you good? You good, gang. They seen me with it. Ashley Sanders just subscribed. Hey, stink. Yo, Ash, what's good, gang? Appreciate you for the motherfucking sub, bro. Appreciate it, gang. They seen me with her, bro. I'm like, damn, look who I done got caught outside with. And one of them niggas, like, one of them niggas, he said my last name. That boy say, I seen you sold. I seen you what? And I'm just like, what the fuck? So anyways, it's time for her to go. I'm trying to give her a hug so she can leave. Nigga, when she gave me a hug, she kept her hands locked on my back, bro. And I was like, I'm looking at her like this. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, damn, what you ain't well? I was like, I'm like, but what's up? We could have did all this in the room. On oh God, I said, I was like, bro, like, why you out? Why you want to be seen out here with me? Like, you tripping? I'm, I'm like, bro, we could have did all this in the room. We could have did all this in the room. And she was like, okay, give me a kiss before you leave. I was like, bro, no, no, bro. I was, I was like, nah, nah, bro, you tripping, bro? We could have did all this shit in the room. And she was like, she was like, come on, man. I've been looking at them lips all night. I just want to feel them. In my head, I'm like, bro, please leave. God, fuck, leave, bro. Leave, bro. So then what happens is, bro, bro, the bitch, she was like, okay. She did something, bro. She did, what the fuck did she do, bro? But she did something. Oh, bro. <laughs> bro, so she was like, Okay, 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 okay. Like so, just kiss me on like on my neck or something like that, bro, bro. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, no, I'm not doing that shit. I'm not doing that shit. So she was like, all right, come here. So nigga, she tried to give me another hug and she grabbed me the back of my head, bro. And nigga, she turned my head and like, well, not because you you really can't turn my head, but when I was putting my like my head like on her shoulder, this sneaky bitch. Motherfucking stole a kiss, my nigga. Put her lips on my lips, my nigga. Stole a kiss, bro. Stole a kiss, bro. And I was sick, bro. I don't blame her. Nah, bro. Finesse by thought, bro. Fam, Cap, I swear to God. Hey, I put this on Jesus. If I'm lying, I'm dying, nigga. This story true. She stole a fucking kiss from me, bro. Nigga. So then I was like, I was like, she was like, ooh, they, ooh, they so soft. Oh, I'm ready to go back upstairs. Bitch, leave. You need to leave, bro. So I was like, I was like, nah, nah, I got you. I got you back from, I got you when I get back from, when I get back from Houston, I got you, I got you. But show kiss that bitch. Oh, God, I swear to God, I didn't. So look, so boom, she getting in her car and she driving off. I ain't even wait for her to drive off, bro. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a gentleman. I walk in your car, wait for you to drive off all that. Nigga, oh, God. I walked in her car and I ain't gonna lie. I know what I did was weird. I end up going, I started walking away from her car. I'm walking back in El Paso and 
As soon as I get to the gate, nigga. You were victim. He definitely made out with her. I swear to God, I did. I swear to God, I just what. Bro, as soon as I get, as soon as I got to, as soon as I got in the gate, nigga, I can't explain why, nigga. I just start running. I just start running, nigga. I just started running, nigga. I ran all the way from the fucking gate to my apartment, nigga. And then the whole time I was running, I was thinking, bro, this bitch just kissed me, bro. Like, I don't even know who she is, bro. I don't know her name. She just kissed me, bro. Like, why does she do that shit, bro? I'm like, bro, I can't believe it. Be kissed me, bro. So I run all the way up the stairs, bro. I'm, bro, I'm running like this. <laughs> bro, so I get upstairs. My roommate said, hi, go I say, bro, that bitch kissed me, bro. Bro, that bitch kissed me, bro. She just stole the kiss. She kissed me, bro. Bro, I was so fucking sick, bro. I was so sick, bro. And that's the last time I took a girl home from the club for real, bro.